Alright guys, so in my hand today I have a shoe that essentially represents the kryptonite of sneaker resellers and this is basically the one thing that can go wrong when you're sneaker reselling and this is the Amy Leon Door 550 in the grey colorway. Now these were a release that happened back in October and when people were first going for them they were selling for the high. I even saw a pair sell for around $800 which is clearly overvalued for the shoe but uh, I don't think anyone really expected them to go for that price but people did expect them to go for something reasonable. What ended up happening is that us resellers got baited into buying the shoe and then it ended up taking about a month to ship and now it's at the point where we're losing $30 per pair on this silly shoe. I'm usually pretty light and like happy to have a shoe in hand. This is one of those shoes that I'm just gonna flame it. I think this is one of the most boring collabs I've seen in ever. I'm gonna say ever. Like, let's go over the details of the shoe real quick. On the medial side, you got the end and then like just some two-tone panels and then a sail outsole. I do gotta say I do like the sail outsole, but the side profile of the shoe literally looks like something that my great-grandpa would wear and I'm not even exaggerating. This redefines the dad shoe. The front, you got like some Stan Smith look-alike thing going on there. And that is definitely not the look that you want to go for at all. You have like a slanted line that just looks kind of like weird. The white laces don't help the case either. Luckily they do come with some blue laces, but this blue is such a light shade that you probably won't even tell the difference. Um, on top of that, the medial side is like the same exact thing as the lateral side so you can't even tell which shoe is which like what I'm saying is this is about as nondescript as a shoe as you can get on the side you got New Balance it doesn't even have any anime Leandor branding really besides on the tongue tag so no one would even know that these are limited collab unless they literally looked at the tongue of your shoe in like a close view inside you just got a new balance and then the outsole kind of a cool outsole like i already said you got like some cool patterns on top of that these are a new balance but they're very very stiff like they're not comfortable like how a new balance should be Usually, they're very stiff. The upper is pretty hard. Like, this material is not even that good. Yes, the suede on the back heel is pretty buttery. But it also has, like, this weird, like, uh, falling apart kind of aesthetic to it. Which I'm sure is purposeful, but not one that I necessarily think looks good. Let's look at the other side of the shoe. Same thing here. Got another spare pair of laces, which is like a yellowish hue. I did try the shoe on. It wasn't uncomfortable by any means, but it was not plush at all. Like, you can tell the sole of the shoe is like hard. Um, you got like some gray hits right there over the outsole. Let's take a look at the box real quick. So the box is just like a regular New Balance box. Uh, I would say it's a pretty cool box. Here's the front tag for legit checking purposes, even though you definitely don't need to legit check these, because I assure you no one would bother making takes because of what a waste of time it would be. The inside, you got the Amy Landor New Balance paper, and this box is actually built like a present, so you can like take it all the way apart. And then the lid of the box just says New Balance. And yeah, pretty simple packaging. It's a small box, so easy to store these bricks. 
and not only are they actually bricks like the way they feel the prices on these are abysmal I lost money I'm gonna lose money whenever I decide to get rid of these and it's just one of those things where resellers need to be aware of situations like this because it can really like be a real pain in the ass to buy a shoe and then have it go for zero money and then just be stuck with it. On top of that, Amy Landor doesn't do full refunds. They only do store credit based refunds. So I'm not going to buy anything from them. And really the only thing the shoe has going for it is looking like a regular shoe. And in that case, just get a regular shoe. Like this shoe serves zero purpose whatsoever. That's my honest take on it, and I think that's the right take, because even for those who are in the know, it's just a boring shoe, like straight out. There's also another pair that's suede, which is equally as boring in my opinion. With that being said, I'm going to end it off here. Hope you found some comedic value out of these, and stay away from these New Balance 550 Amy 